segmenting performance. As an enterprise leader, it's incumbent upon us to objectively and clearly segment performance. We do that with teams as well as individuals. The segmenting technique that I like best is analogous to a school grading system. A person on your team who gets 9 out of 10 transactions or interactions right is getting about a 90%. That's an A. A person who's getting about 8 of 10, B. How about a person who gets 7 out of 10 interactions or performance to goals right? That becomes a bit more of a challenge. We would call that a C player. We can talk about percentages as they go down, but as we look at our performers, we have to objectively and clearly begin to segment our performers. Why must we do that? Well, a healthy organization is always gaining and losing cells. We want to challenge our C's to move, to become B's. Or as we challenge our C's, they may not step up. That tells us something if they move down the chain. We want to build organizations as an executive with as many A players as possible. Having said that, every organization needs Bs. We need a, an array of talent. We need mobile talent, Bs who are becoming As, As who are challenged or their job is moving, As who become superstars, Cs who move to Bs. We need a mobile talent platform that is objectively graded for their contributions as well as their behavioral interactions. This is how we think about segmenting performance.